Hi there, it's Pastor Jennifer here and my dog Lucy, because, you know, she's by me all the time, giving me extra moral support. Um, I wanted to come to you today and talk to you a little bit about prayer. Our confirmation class is preparing to talk about this very topic this next weekend, and so I was thinking about that this week and all this time that we need just a few moments to, to get away and to have a conversation with God. Maybe Maybe your parents are very busy on uh, working online and so you just need to go by yourself for a bit. This would be a good activity for you to do. Or maybe you do this as a family and you talk about um, the different things going on in your life, which, which I'm sure you hear every day, but maybe in the context of prayer. We're going to do what's called a crossword prayer um, because in Scripture, in Colossians chapter 4, verse 2, it says, devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in it with thanksgiving. Devote yourselves to prayer. To spend this time, spend some time each day in prayer. And so we're going to do this crossword prayer and we're going to start first. You just need some paper and some markers and you start um, by writing your name first. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to write my name. So I've got that. And then I'm going to think about all these things that I want to pray about. So I am writing down this word because I um, had an opportunity this week to talk to some friends over in Pittsburgh where I used to live and we were on Zoom together and these ladies and I would meet all the time when we were over there together and talk just about ministry and talk about life and, and it was just fun to, to laugh and celebrate with them. So I'm also going to write down, I'm going to write down this word, I'm going to write down groceries. I'm very grateful that we still have the opportunity to go get groceries. I am a little sad. My husband and I, um, going to get groceries was, was kind of our outing together, and now only one of us can go, so it kind of changes things, but I'm still grateful that we are able to um, have groceries in our house. Then I'm going to write down, I'm going to write down masks. Uh, somebody in Scott's church created some masks for us so that we are able to go out in public. So I'm very grateful for her and her gift of sharing that with me. Um, I'm also, oops, I already used green. Let's use orange. Um, writing down nurses, all of those um, folks that wear those masks every day, but um, are the people that we are staying inside for, for those folks that just need some extra love right now and extra care because they are putting themselves out there um, to help us all stay healthy. So I want to definitely pray for them. Then I think I'm going to write down joy. There is a lot of joy in this time. Yesterday, Scott and I got to sit out on the um, porch, and it was a Saturday yesterday. It was Saturday. Um, and we don't normally get to do that. Usually, Scott has a worship service on Saturday, so to have that downtime to sit on the porch and just read and uh, watch the world go by was a great gift that day. My other sadness is... Every time we've gone to the grocery store in the past four weeks, there's been no yeast. And I've really wanted to try to make some bread, so we just keep waiting for that to come back into the grocery store, and I'm sure it will someday. Um, I think I'll stop there. I think those are the things that I will lift up in prayer, but you can keep on going. I asked Scott to make one for himself, and here is his. He wrote about the loss that uh, the loss of things that some things that we can't do right now. Um, he wrote about taking each day for today, and that he feels like we are being he's kind of being tested in his calmness, <laughs> where he might find those calm places or tested in his peace full moments, so he wrote that down. I think calm was more about he, he finds this calmness um, by being outside and, and seeing the new buds that are, are coming out this spring. So 
just a way to um, think about prayer differently, to be a part of prayer differently, to have some conversations together about prayer. As scripture tells us, not just in Colossians, but in so many other places, devote yourselves to prayer, always with thanksgiving and praise to God for the blessings and the moments that we have each day. May this time of prayer bring you peace.